Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And a few of you have asked me to comment on this new prepaid AT&T Unlimited plan. So prepaid is its own segment. And for many, by perception, prepaid is viewed as cheaper, uh, better value, um, something that you can go to if you don't qualify for for postpaid. I remember working at Radio Shack and immediately up on seeing that the consumer that was trying to get a postpaid line had a very high down payment or owed money, whatever the system showed, I immediately um, pivoted and, and went over the prepaid. And that's what a lot of people perceive pe uh, prepaid as cheap you know people call them burner phones um i've heard some people call them food stamp phones so that's what it's perceived as it's perceived as value very cheap and for at&t to have a plan like this that is now priced at 75 dollars 65 with auto pay you're 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 playing real close to to postpaid I mean, this is very close to their postpaid pricing. I believe their AT&T premium plan is priced at $85, maybe $75 with, with auto pay. So are they, is AT&T pricing themselves out of that prepaid segment? I'm sure so some people are going to pick this just because they can't get qualified for postpaid. So they want to at least have an option on prepaid where they can get similar features to uh to the postpaid so nationwide calls unlimited nationwide messaging unlimited unlimited international texting and unlimited data high-speed data that can't slow down no matter how much you use so this is a fully unthrottled plan so this is very similar to at t premium so this is more of an option and offer for people who can't qualify for postpaid but still want a similar offer so you're going to pay more for it, as you can see by the price. But this is a, a, a truly unlimited pre, premium prepaid option, if you will. So I don't think the masses are going to jump to this. Um, the masses are, would still probably go to go to uh, postpaid, especially, you know, if you can qualify, you can get a new device at a device credit promo, maybe even free, depending on what's offered. And then, yeah, you pay a little more on postpaid but people you know pay that extra would pay that extra ten dollars you know to to get that device credit um prepaid devices eh, there are some that have good deals but most of the higher ends from what i remember you have to pay them at full price i know some of the prepaid uh dealers are now offering financing on those but it's not really financing through the prepaid carrier itself. It's usually through a third party from what I've seen. So let me know what you guys think about this plan. Do you guys think it's too close to the postpay pricing? Or do you guys think it's just a great option to have for prepaid for a prepaid customer that would like something like this that can't qualify for postpaid? Leave all your comments in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.